Welcome to the Uncube Ethicals 1 to 100 scale model. Just thought I'd make a quick video just to show you the model in its entirety and give you the best guide to taking it into its various components um, safely and without damage. So, this is the model in front of you. Um, Stuart Fields, the model creator, um, just finished things off and here we go. So you see the model's got a Perspex acrylic protective case on it. So I'll just <clears throat> start by gently removing that. The thing to remember here is the model has limited clearance on this side of the case to the um, wraparound screen. So just a little bit of care on that particular side when the case comes off. It's a snug fit to the base, so just lift it gently over the, over the screen. So once that's popped aside, we have the model in its entirety there. And the model does have two removable floors and a removable roof. Obviously the operation to do this is quite delicate, but there's just a few things to bear in mind for it. First of all, we have the roof level. Roof level has two areas to grip it. One is the area we see on the far side here, above the stairwell, and another we put a capping over the lift shaft here. So you've got two points to remove it. Best way to remove the roof and all the other floors is to start towards the back, bring a slight angle because we don't want this front edge pushing the glazing and the weather screen forward because this front elevation is the most delicate part of the model by quite a margin. So just grip both parts, lift up gently, angle backwards away from the screen and we can pop that aside and it's your roof completely separate. Next we've got the internal floor layouts. Same process, the floors slide in very very well um, without any particular contact or um, or edges that may cause any damage so you can you can remove them with confidence but obviously just with care so there's there's a point just in the back corner that's um that's good to grip it by plus any of the fixed walls don't go near any of the, the acrylic go for where there's junctions so we will get two points one at the bedroom section here and one at the back and again just gently raise raising it out bearing in mind that front edge near the weather screen past the lift shaft past the stairwell and that's your that's your top floor off there. Let's pop that aside. Now we got the first floor, which is obviously a little deeper in the model, so you're going to have further to come. But same process. Aren't quite as many places to grip on this one, but there's a good central core area and a couple of walls at the back near the toilets that you can grab hold of. So again, very gently, being aware to slide up the back, pull it from that back area, and watch the contact with the front of the building where it's delicate. So there we go, that floor level's out as well and you're left with the the rest of the building that you can look into and see the ground floor at work. Right, so now I've turned the model around, just want to show you the, whole, the same process again but just in reverse. So we've got the empty model with all the floor plates missing there. So we're going to gently introduce the ground floor plan. Again, the part to be aware of is still that front elevation and the front glazing. So. Just position the, position the floor plate around its two connection points, which is the lift shaft and the stairwell over this side. Concentrate on those as, as your sliding guides. Uh, what will happen sometimes is the model, when it sinks in at the front with that floor plate, you'll have a connection at the back which just needs a little tap and the connection over here. That's so that it does grab and it does give us a good purchase for the floor plate to slide into and keep everything safe. So we will slide that one down very gently there it goes. Again, snug, but not too much of a risk in there. Um, we've made it so it's quite a comfortable fit, but it still maintains the integrity of the model and the appearance that you're after. So that's the first floor in. Now I'll grab our second floor plan. Again, same process, just being aware, always being aware of that front glazing, because that is the most delicate part of the model. A little tap on the back corner just to seat that floor plate in, and it should slide nicely into place just like that. Once that floor plate is in, you can take your roof plane, again, connection point on the underside of the lift shaft here, lift shaft here, sorry, and the stairwell there. Position over the stairwell first, that tends to give you a nice snug grip and it's the highest point of the roof. And slide that down, clip it into place, pop it down on the corners, and you're away. That's your complete reconstructed Uncube Ethicals um, model there. 
So I hope that gives you a bit of a guide and helps to avoid any potential damage to the model. It is very, very delicate, particularly the screen area, and that just needs to be remembered at all times. So let's grab the acrylic lid to finish that off. Now again, just very careful on this right hand side, just to avoid the weather screen. Position the lid on all sides. If it gets an angle on it, it won't fit on properly. So make sure there's no angle when you're dropping it into place. And then it should seat perfectly, nice and snug, and it's ready to go. Excellent. Hope you enjoy the model, and thank you very much for using Litchfield and Fields. And um, yeah, enjoy the video, and you'll have this to um, have a bit of a play around with yourself soon. Great. Thanks for that.